I do apologize for that. At when I pulled into the sighting, I didn't realize that he had actually bought one of the bodies of the cubs with him. And it, I know that this is a very, very difficult situation for many people to see, and that includes myself. I did see these cubs for the, with the viewers for the very first time when I was here on my trial drive a couple of months ago. So it is a difficult situation, and it is unfortunately one that we do feel we must explain to you. And I don't have a full explanation as to why he's kept this cub's body with him. The only thing that I can suggest is that because they are young males, this is probably the first time they've ever killed a cub before. And he's not quite sure exactly what it is and how to handle it. So he's brought it with him more out of curiosity than anything else. And it is just a part of their natural learning experience. And it's very, very easy for us to, in the sort of high emotional state that we're all in, to be slightly angry and disappointed in the Birmingham boys. However, it's worth remembering that this is a natural process of life and it allows them to keep lions to naturally both keep their numbers down and their genetics fresh, which as a species is going to give them a whole lot of resilience if there are any climate changes, any kind of outbreaks of disease, any kind of selective pressure. They need, they really, really need to keep that constant flow of genetics, otherwise it does them serious damage as a species. So they are acting purely on instinct, and at this point they are still learning and getting some experience. Over the next few years, as the Birmingham, Bo Birmingham boys become quite a serious coalition, they are going to continue to do things like this, but they are also going to sire a whole new genetic line that they will fight for and die to protect in terms of a whole load of new cubs and new genetic material coming into the system. So we must remember that although this has happened now, in the future there will be fresh Birmingham stock and they are beautiful, beautiful, very strong, very physically um, healthy looking lions and they will be passing those genetics into the, into the, the lion species as a whole. So a very difficult situation to witness but one that we must remember is natural and it's not kind of any any kind of innate evil within the line it is just part of nature and part of the way that they are going to continue in the future So I know that there's lots and lots of people who've been watching and following the stories for a long time. And Marisha, you are correct. This is nature and Rita as well. Welcome to the Sunset Safari. It is very, very difficult to watch and it is for all of us. I know that Andrew was very sad this morning when we learned about the cubs. Um, I was with him when we were when we saw them for the first time and when the wild earth viewers saw them for the first time. So it is nature, it is not for us to question and there are also motives that are beyond our understanding but we do know that this ultimately this whole process is what's kept lions going for thousands of years and it is a natural part of what they do. And I've been reading up a lot about some of the really powerful and epic lion coalitions who have been in the Sabi Sands in the past, the Mapohos, the Salatis, the Majingis, all of these coalitions I've been reading up about recently and they all come with this history of quite sad moments and very brutal moments but they also come with some amazing stories of fathering new and large prides <clears throat> and just keeping those lions going and healthy. And I must say that the lions in the Sabi Sands that I've seen are probably some of the best looking lions I've ever seen anywhere in the country. So really, really impressive looking, very healthy looking lions. So it's, it is part of nature, it is difficult, but it is ultimately going to be a positive step for the species as a whole. But I do understand that for many people it is difficult and it is 
difficult to view with that vision, with that perspective right now. Us and the W, the Wild Earth viewers, will actually be able to witness as these Birmingham boys come through and start fathering their own cubs, and will be able to get past what is quite a tough moment for all of us.